Okay, my first band was when I was eight, Mr. On Five. So we took him from the poppy program, Mr. Ron's, and we had the five because everything was Jackson Five. So every band had five people in it, and you know, that's how we were. That lasted two years, and then after that, I, because my dad bought the equipment in our basement, again in the basement of Downs Road, I started to help other guys in the area who wanted to play an instrument. So um, we created a group called The Equative, which is where Alan Weeks, who's uh, a very good reggae jazz guitarist now, um, Keith Drummond was also in that group. And um, while that was going on, I joined a band in Phoebe's Club, which was called Young One From Zion. Well, we actually, we didn't have a name until the, the first night we decided to play and the DJ said, you know what? I'm gonna call on the Young One From Zion. And um, that group developed to become Black Flair. And, you know, that's another story. <laughs> The tune that we would identify and call our own was like Our Reggae Music by Brown Sugar. You know, that record was literally like Our Reggae, you know, they were talking about We Free Our Sisters, everybody would sing that song. And then you have things like um, I Would Always Love You by Riot Squad. I would always love you. You know, I mean, these songs were just like songs that I don't know, even when I play them now, my sound. When you were there, you just hear people just sing these songs because it takes you to a place where love was sweet, love was young, long was, we were developing love for our own and, you know what I mean, sparkling your eyes. You know, and when you think of the titles, you know what I mean, they were just, you know, baby I'm yours. You know, the men sang some beautiful love songs. And then obviously the girls like to sing some bitter love songs because all sorts of things are going on. But when you talk about love songs, the guys, you know what I mean, there were some beautiful love songs. But then the girls sang some sweet, meaningful songs like Marie Perry, Choose Me. You know, when you listen to the words, it's like, sweet song, but, <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know, then you had Carol sing like Happy Song, Just a Little Bit, I'm So Sorry, Janet Kay, Rock the Rhythm, you know what I mean? So that was our music. No one can take that away and to this day it's still our music. And then it changed in the 90s because we had that break when all the pirate radio stations came along they all played soul and um, in the clubs because you, we identified with the pirate stations of our own but because they were only playing soul music we then everybody became solid so and it wasn't even a choice it was that that became the popular music and it literally knocked the lovers rock out to think and then the club scene changed that lasted for three four years and then Ray Groove emerged and then while Ray Groove was in that thing she was like 86, 87, 88 came along Jamaican reggae and it came in like a bang you know what I mean Barrington Levy all of those you know Sanchez, Red Dragon all them guys came in and just really dominated the reggae scene and in the 90s Lovers came back with a fourth then you had groups like Private Collection, Administrators, um, girls like Wendy Walker, and then you had some of the earlier girls who did cross over, but at that section where the whole Lloyd Brown came out of that section, and, and to be honest, and that's what's been going on since. So we had two bites for the cherry, and we could identify with British reggae music. <laughs> 